peace. Now, when somebody's putting on a sandal, when somebody's putting on their shoes, when somebody's putting on putting something on their feet, you you can all you can almost tell what they're trying to do. When somebody comes home and they're in the house, they put on sandals, just regular flip flops for inside the house. When somebody's going out in a rainy day, you see them wear a boot. When somebody's wearing dress shoes, you know they had going for something like a business. When somebody's putting on the running shoes, you already know they're going out for a run. So the gospel of the peace, the sandals of the gospel of peace, when, some, um, when, when you put it on the gospel of the of peace, when you put on something to walk out there to evangelize, basically, when you go out there to evangelize, you evangelize in peace, in the spirit, it's like every walk that you take is 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 envisioned as a, a, a sandal that you're wearing, a purpose, a purpose to, to, to go out there and evangelize and speak peace. Because the the, 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 the the word of God brings brings about peace. So you go out there and you you evangelize, you bring peace. When people see you, they will they, they will welcome you. They should, they're supposed to welcome you and, 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 and because all you speak, all you bring brings about peace. So you're walking to places. So you in the spirit that that shoe you're wearing, that sandal of the gospel, is 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 uh, basically propagating and bringing you to places where you are able to to to, to 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 speak and preach and bring the gospel of peace because the gospel of Jesus Christ is of nothing but peace and brings eternal life to, to you if you apply it and to those that hear it and dwell on it. And um, pretty much to say, to add to this also is in the physical, when I was in the military, when you go on military bases, you go on the PX, you find out that a lot of things that sell a lot are like sometimes the shaving, um, you know, shaving creams and stuff like that they sell. But another thing that sells a lot is foot powder. Why? Because your foot and 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 and, 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 and soles like shoes, like the insoles for the shoes. Why? Because in the physical, we believe that if you have blisters on your feet and you're a soldier, you're not gonna be able to march. You're not gonna be able to walk that 15 miles if you have to. You're not gonna be able to fight and, and be able to maintain your balance because you need those shoes, and that's why. The, the government has spent so much money on shoes, winter shoes, uh, blis uh, blister-free socks, powders, and also as a soldier, if you get blisters, you can get in trouble because you're not you're not taking care of yourself. It shows that you're not taking care of yourself. And your feet, you need to stand on your feet. You need to walk. You need to march. You need to face everything. You need to be able to keep your your socks, your feet wet. I mean, dry, so you're not wet because once you know, your feet cannot take you no more. Once you have all these blisters, you're going nowhere. So your feet and how to protect your feet is very, very important. And so in the spiritual realm, the gospel of, 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 um, of peace, that sandal, let it be one that can hold you. Let it be one that, you you, you know, you, you, that's comfortable. Don't put on a sandal that's oversized because you, it's not. So basically, in the spirit, Put on the sandal of the gospel of truth, the one that's fitted to you, the one that is for you. Don't put on somebody else's shoes. If you don't, mm -hmm. if it doesn't fit, don't wear it. Mm -hmm. And to say, even in the military, like I, I, I can say to, 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 um, to go back on it, when we go on road marches, five miles, 10 miles, or however long, if you're going out for a road march, if you're wearing a brand new boots, you're basically, I just asking for trouble because those new shoes you haven't broken in yet. Okay, you're not gonna wear a brand new shoe and go on a 15 mile road march because at the end, yes, you will cross the 15 miles, but your feet are blistered. You're not used to it. Your um, your, your your ankles will hurt. So you know you wear the the, 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 the boots that you've already broken into that's fitted. That, 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 that can keep you walking and the one that already knows the arc and, and, and the shape of your feet and your toes and, and that's the one that can you know give you the best out of that walk, out of that march, out of that road march. So in the spiritual realm too, you have to look at it in that same way and apply it that same way and, and, and kind of know that, okay, you know what? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I, 
I'm taking one to keep myself. What do I want to walk into? Do I go where I belong? Does this shoe, is it, am I wearing this to, 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 you know, does it apply? Does it, can I go here and Lord God, show me, direct my steps that I can walk and step into the right place with the right shoe, the gospel of the peace. And then now the helmet of salvation. Uh, I just want to add to the, um, the shoe. It's a, a powerful point in that, you know, when you wear your shoes, you are going to work. Um, and your work is different from when she wears her shoes, she's going to her other business. So I, I feel like everyone has a way of propagating the gospel in their own offices. You know, you understand? Yes. I wear my shoe and come here and minister as a minister of the gospel. But if you feel like the only time you can preach the gospel is to get a platform to preach to somebody, then that's not your shoes because God didn't call you to be a pastor, a bishop, an evangelist, or an apostle. But God has given you also your shoe that as a nurse, uh, as a designer, uh, as a military, you will find people at your workplace where you can still minister to them the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you feel like, no, I have to be a pastor before I can preach the gospel, you may not even function right. But at your workplace, because God has given you a shoe which fits you and the sandals of his gospel, you can have so much influence on your co-workers, so much influence on your supervisors and your superiors, and you can you know, win them over to Jesus Christ because that is the kind of shoe God gave you. Absolutely. And God sent you to that place because he knows that that's where he wants you to send the gospel. Yes. To to minister to. Yes. I hope it's somebody understands. The reason why, yes, that, that's very true. Right? That's very true. The reason why I said this is because we're now talking about um, the Roman soldier mm -hmm. and the kind of shoe they wear. So I was kind of like more like saying it in the point of somebody going to walk. To yeah, I'm in agreement with you. Yes. I'm just so, adding to it. Yes, but still, yes, every job or profession out there has its own job mm -hmm. shoes. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, if I work construction, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be wearing running shoes. I'm going to be wearing a steel toe boot mm -hmm. that will be able to withstand every equipment, tools that falls down to protect my toes. But as, let's say, as a nurse, I couldn't wear that because it's not what it's, it's designed for. And even if you go to the nursing, you may not be able to speak the uh, scientific or terminologies to be even to win other nurses. But because because that's not the shoes. Right, exactly. But if you're a farmer and you are working with farmers, <laughs> you are easily able to connect because that you are wearing the shoes that could match. Uh, I'm taking it to you know from where you, you left all that. Yes, thing. absolutely. Every, Looking it in that direction also. Yes. yes. Yeah. So like in this case, because it talks about the Roman soldiers mm -hmm. so putting on mm -hmm. this battle gear for war. Mm -hmm. I and because I can relate to it, that's mm -hmm. why I kinda like bring mm -hmm. up that point mm -hmm. of you know, shoes and how you know, it's advisable if you go for a road march to mm -hmm. bring into the shoes or previous, not wear a brand new shoe mm -hmm. and go out there because mm -hmm. it's not going to do any, any justice. So, yes, but the same way it can apply to every other aspect of life mm -hmm. and, um, you know, uh, and, uh, and ways of, you know, going about your daily life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, um, the next point here is going to be the shield of faith. The shield of faith basically is a shield is known as something to use when you strike with your weapon and somebody is striking back your shield is what you use to cover to give yourself protection you use it to either cover up or cover down and how the uh, roman soldiers use their shield you know like if you look at it if you look at law enforcement all over the country and most part most part all over the country when you look at this their badge it's in the shape of a shield. Mm -hmm. It's you know, there's a reason why they chose that, okay? Because that's that's a shield, okay? Um, it, it 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 shows like something like something you use it to block every incoming or something like that. And if you're in, if you if you uh, if you're in a battle, and if you drop your your your, your weapon, you can actually buy time by using a shield. To kind of cover and cover while you can look around or pick up something like you know watching like uh some of the uh those movies where you see people fighting with a sword you know once they drop their shield they don't have a shield even though they have a sword in their hand you see them kind of like trying to run away more but if they have a shield they're able to buy time 
until they pick up another weapon. Uh, will pick up another weapon to, 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 to kind of defend himself. So the shield of faith, once you have the shield in the spirit, once you have the shield of faith, it blocks everything, everything that, you know, you see a situation that looks almost impossible. But if you have that shield of faith, you're able to block all of that from going into your mind, to, from, 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 from making you not uh, look at the, you know, the, what, what you have coming, because that shield of faith, that shield of faith in the, in, the, in, the, in the name of Jesus tells you like, you know, yes, I know I don't have this, but in the name of Jesus, I, 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 you know, it's coming. Okay, I know I haven't received my, my miracle, but I'm sure, you know, you, you have that, that, that shield of faith that's blocking all the, all the things, all the negativity that the devil is throwing at you, all that fiery darts that's being shot at you, that shield of faith is blocking it's blocking all the incoming, all the all the all the thrust, all the uh, project, um, the, the, the projection, and everything, all the incoming and shrapnels. That shield can take cover, can take all the blows, so that you're not directly absorbing it. Okay, and also the helmet, um, the helmet of salvation, the helmet of salvation, the helmet protects the head. And the head is basically where your brain is. All your motor skills, all your thoughts, everything is in your head. When you put on the helmet of salvation, basically Jesus comes in your mind. The word of God dwells in your mind. Everything you, you do is in your mind. That's that that's helmet of salvation. And then if you look at it, the helmet protects your brain, your crane, uh, your brain, all your brain protects everything. Once, even when you watch all this, um, when you watch like a uh, zombie movie, which I don't suggest you watch a zombie movie, sometimes, um, you see, when the zombie are coming and they're shooting, shooting, you see they don't move, but they, when they shoot them in the head, what happens? They go down. They go down with their head. Carries all the, all the, all the, um, all the, um, the, the motor skills. Everything is in your mind. When the devil wants to attack, it comes into your mind and gives you negative words. It gives you all that stuff. You know, all those pictures. Of, like, it reminds you of things. And that, that battleground is in your mind. Once you've got the helmet of salvation, and Jesus Christ comes into your mind, there is no room for fear. There is no room for evil thoughts. There is no room to have somebody in your mind and wants to hurt somebody, that helmet of salvation, that Jesus, that 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 that, that presence of the, the, the Spirit of God in your mind gives no room for any evil thoughts, any evil plans, and, and, and you're not easily deceived by anything you hear because that helmet of salvation, you know, is on, is on your head. Like for instance, let's start, take the, the uh, story of David in the Bible. When Goliath came at him, Goliath had all his um, armories on. He had everything, you know. He had on his helmet, he had his sword, his shield, and everything. And what did uh, the children of Israel do? They came to uh, David and said, hey, you can wear all this, put on your armor, you know. But one thing they didn't know is both men, both David and Goliath, they were all wearing armor. But David was wearing the armor of God. That's the difference. Goliath, on the other hand, he was wearing the physical armor. And that fight was not a physical fight. It was a spiritual war. It was a spiritual battle. So David, even though he was not wearing all of that, he was also, he was wearing the armor of God. And that's why he told uh, Goliath, you come with me with all this, but I come to you in the name of, in the name of God, of Israel. That was his armor. And when he had all those three stones in his sling, when he shot, he did not shoot where he was wearing, where Goliath was wearing armor. He shot underneath. He was wearing a, uh, the helmet, but that helmet, the pebbles went right through, right through. He still got him in the head. So all that protection he had on was of no use. And then the sword of the spirit. In every battle, 